Miss Hall, when's the last time you were with your ex? About a month ago. She told me she wasn't. And I she could hasn't be been with me. Pregnant you. again. When your name is on a child's birth certificate as the father, and you pay child support, you have little to no reason to doubt the baby's paternity. However, this man soon realized he had been paying child support for a child that might not be his. Mr. Jacobs, you're on the birth certificate and paying child support for three-year-old Samar. You're suing today to prove that Samar is your son. Yes, Your Honor. Samar's real biological father is another man, Mr. Daniel Cooper. Now that they are in court, the man is asked to reveal how they met. No one was expecting Mr. Jacob to say this. Well, Your Honor, I met Miss Carl on the train, uh, coming back from the gym. She sits in front of me, continuous staring at me. She comes upstairs, and being a gentleman that I am, I, I like to get to know her, I get to this know This is her. after you met on the train? Yes. The same day? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Despite meeting on the train without having a previous encounter, Miss Call follows Jacob, and this happened. You followed him home, Miss Call? We watched movies, we talked, we did get to know each other. We did have unprotected sex that night, Your Honor. I never heard of such. Just get on the bus, going somewhere, next thing you know, <laughs> have sex. Who does that? The other guy, Mr. Cooper, does not believe he is the father of Miss Call's son because she was promiscuous. Now, the DNA test is done, and the results are in. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Cooper, you are not the father. <laughs> Now that is supposed to leave the possibility that Mr. Jacobs, who has been paying child support, is the father. But is he the father? Jacobs, you are not the father. <laughs> what the? Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Paternity court allows you to state your claims regarding who you think is the father of your child before DNA results are read. But don't you think this woman is taking it too far? Miss Parker, Mr. Morton fathered your seven-month-old son, Aaron. You say the only reason he denies paternity is because his girlfriend turned him against you. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Judge Lake asked how Mr. Parker could have intercourse with Mr. Morton, knowing he had a girlfriend at the time. First of all, Your Honor, that's my baby father. Anytime I want to have sex with him, I'm going to have sex with him. So, you know, we did what we did. So, hold on. He's not the child in question. No, Aaron is. That made it seem like Mr. Morton and Miss Parker were in a relationship, which collapsed after he met his new girlfriend. Well, Miss Parker soon revealed the nature of her relationship with him and his girlfriend, which sparked a shocking reaction from Judge Lake. But you also still continued a sexual relationship. Yes, with the both of them. Both with Mr. Morton and Mrs. Lemon. Oh! Uh, threesome at the same time, separate relationship. If I don't want to have sex with her and I want to have sex with him, that's what happens. This is one fascinating revelation to make in court. But immediately after that, Mrs. Lemon said something that made it further enjoyable. The only reason why she was able to have sex with us is because I asked my boyfriend to have sex with her because she was lonely. My boyfriend, can you have sex with your pregnant baby mother because she's in need? Sometimes, our actions send a specific message to people with other ideas about what is going on in our lives. This man once believed he was the father of the defendant's baby until this happened. Mr. Elliot, you say you do not believe you are the father of Ms. Hall's son. Ms. Hall was in a relationship with another man. Yes, ma'am. No man would believe he is the birth father if his partner gave the child another man's last name. Now, this lady was possibly going to provide a reasonable explanation for her actions, but here is what she claims. Now, Ms. Hall, you admit you have no idea who fathered your son. Yes, ma'am. You didn't know who you wanted to be with at the time. Yes, ma'am. At this point, there was a need to understand how they met to trace the nature of their relationship. Well, I met Amanda probably about 13 years ago, Amanda's boyfriend at the time, and she came to me one day after they split up and we started talking. That's how it started from there. But during their relationship, Mr. Elliot realized that she might not have gotten over her ex because she always did this. Well, after we'd get into an argument and fight, She'd go back to his house. Wouldn't make you go back anywhere. Make you go back to his house? How can I make anybody do something they don't want to do? What do you mean? When my... somebody fights with you so much to the point where you just have to. Despite being in a new relationship, Miss Hall would start an argument with her boyfriend to make it look big to get a reason to return to her ex. This happened several times and created doubts in Mr. Elliot's mind. Paul, did you go back to your ex? I sure did. Were you intimate with him when you went back? Sometimes yes, Your Honor, and sometimes no. One of the pros of a paternity court is that you are allowed to confess all that transpired between you and your partner or any other person who might be viewed as your baby's father. Miss Hall took the opportunity to make this unexpected confession. When 
this time of conception, you're admitting, Miss Hall, that you slept with Mr. Elliot and your ex. Is this a yo-yo, a seesaw? One gave me great sex, the other one gave me a great relationship and the support I needed for my kids, so I had to run to the other I guy. Wasn't really there seems to be a love triangle between Mr. Elliot, Miss Hall, and her ex-boyfriend, but it is interesting how Miss Hall explains it. So the point is, if Mr. Elliot truly isn't giving you what you need in a relationship. Why not just break it off and you also love your ex, right? Not as much as I do, Max. Mr. Elliot claims they prevented him from visiting at the time of birth, and Ms. Hall's ex-boyfriend was allowed to sign the birth certificate. Here's what she had to say about what happened at the hospital. Who was at the hospital? Uh, my ex and me. He and gave me the comfort, the love, the support, the financial stability that I needed for me and my kids. That wasn't the end of the shocking revelations in court. Ms. Hall displayed how not to treat your partner in a relationship. She was confused about the paternity of her child based on the dates of intercourse and conception. She also said, When's the last time you were with your ex? About a month ago. She told me she wasn't, and I she hasn't be been with me. pregnant him. again. I also could be pregnant again in the same situation that I'm in now. Oh my goodness. At this juncture, the only way to ascertain the paternity of Ms. Hall's child is to get the test results. Remember, the DNA only tested only Mr. Elliot because the ex is not in court today. 10 month old Noah Groom. Mr. Elliot, you are not Noah's father.